I want to get last uh, words from Richard Fowler over here, who's been very nicely, patiently uh, quiet <laughs> oh, no. over here. And you must have been the, like the big, like the, the, the nicest kid in class. You know? The teachers <laughs> must have just loved you. It's like that, that too. Uh, but I really appreciate being here, Lauren. And you know, I want to take this time out to thank my everyday icon. Besides my mom, who's always my everyday icon, I want to thank my debate coach, who if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. So James Wakefield in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, you're an everyday icon. <laughs> wow. You know what? I actually, when, since we're talking about everyday icons, I want to thank my, my well, my father has passed, but... Um, I just want to acknowledge that he was one of those everyday icons that just did his work, worked for the same company for 40 years, got the gold watch. That never happens anymore, right? No. no. It really doesn't. That kind of faithfulness and fidelity, that's a sacred category, too. And acknowledging it more, I really appreciate both of you doing that. I feel a little bad. I should have done that. <laughs> and I will honestly say, I would not be here and able to do this were not for a mom and dad yeah. who taught me how to combine passionate faith with genuine commitment to the entire country, to the idea that you can embrace who you are and all of your particularity and know that you're part of something bigger and you have to serve that something bigger too. Even if it doesn't always look like you, dress like you, or think like you, it's part of what makes us us and you have an obligation to serve that too. Absolutely. And you know, I think we were talking about the Zach Brown uh, uh, segment when he's talking about the um, everyday icons. And one of the things I wanted to bring out is that even though, yes, we have billionaires who buy yachts and boats and things like that, that they are, we, are, we have this fabric in the United States where we're all connected yeah. by whatever we do, and it takes workers to make those boats and yachts and airplanes, right. but that they are the unsung heroes of our world. You know, the everyday laborers that put their blood, sweat, and tears right. into what they do, and they go home and they raise their families, and they do the job that they're supposed to do, and those are the people we're celebrating this weekend and uh, for our Labor Day. Indeed. Absolutely. You couldn't, couldn't have said it better. All righty. Uh, we're going to wrap up on foxnews.com live.